Palpatine's stain is heavy on our people, and we carry that shame still. Sosha Saruna following the rise of the Galactic Empire and Palpatine's self-proclamation as Emperor, Naboo hosted one of the new regime's military garrisons. Shortly after the end of the Clone Wars, thousands of citizens gathered in the streets of Thede in order to assist to Amidala's funeral procession. At that time, C.O. Bibble had finally decided to retire from governorship over Naboo, setting the stage for an election that Sashay was seemingly going to win. However, Naboo's internal politics were also interfered with by the new regime. While the people were still permitted to elect their monarchs, those who gained the office had little real power or influence. The position of governor was also abolished. Instead, all major decisions regarding Naboo were placed firmly in the hands of the sector's moth, a position held by Palpatine's close ally and former security forces officer Quash Panaka, who was appointed before the election for governor could even happen. Though one of the less corrupt imperial officials, Panaka was assassinated by Saw Gerrera's partisans insurgency in 3 BBY. Due to its status as Palpatine's homeworld, Naboo prospered during the Age of the Empire. Its economy and environment were regarded to be far healthier than most worlds which had been subject to imperial rule. Nevertheless, the people of Naboo resented the fact that it was their world that brought forth a man like Palpatine. The Empire also demilitarized Naboo and dissolved the Royal Naboo Security Forces' Starfighter Wing. As a result, Naboo lacked any combat-trained pilots by the time of the Battle of Endor. Sabe, former handmaiden of Padme Amidala, brought Darth Vader to Naboo in Three Abbey. Typho and his rebel team fought him. The rebels went as far as baiting a Sando Aqua monster into fighting the Dark Lord of the Sith. Rick Holloway and his rebel cell, the Amidalans, attempted to protect Padme's tomb from Vader, but were killed in the process. The handmaidens gathered for a final stand. They were unable to prevent Darth Vader from breaching the tomb.